Have you ever been lying in the grass washing the sky and trying to put pictures into the clouds? It's amazing how the shapes of the clouds often remind us of something or animal. But the same is true for the boundaries of the countries on Earth. Let me show you what I see in the shapes of the countries in Europe today. First of all, Albania. Well, that's obviously a condom. There. Not the most compelling idea, but thoroughly replicable. Next one is Andorra. Now, Andorra is first of all an irregular blob. Many country shapes are irregular blobs and it takes you a while to imagine what they might look like. When I take some time, I probably can see the head of a demon. Like this. Let's go to Armenia. This is very clearly a fish-like shape. An angel shark to be exact. Can you see it? The head, the fins, the tail. Here, that's how I see it. Here's Austria. The first thing that came to my mind was the shape of a fat slug. I stick to the idea and here's my concept of Austria resembling a fat slug. Azerbaijan is a tricky one. The pointy landmark in the very east of the country reminds me of a bird's head, followed by wings spread out to fly. But what an enormous tail would that be if I followed this concept? But why not say it's some kind of a bird of paradise? They often have huge tail feathers, so here it is. One feather has fallen off, as Azerbaijan consists of two parts, divided by Armenia. Belarus is the next one. It took some time, but then I saw the shape of a cowering duck. Would you agree? Maybe you'd like to tell me what you see in the country shapes, since every person might see different things. Here's Belgium. Belgium for me is what I call the praying man. I'm sure you're not yet able to see the praying man, but once I give you the image, you'll never let it go. Bosnia-Herzegovina. This shape looks like a cool spacecraft to me. Maybe resembling the planned space glider Hermes, which was never put to practice. I love the shape of Bulgaria. Why? Because it's most clearly the shape of a playing kitten. Can you see that? The head on the right, the little tail on the left. Here it is. And now don't you tell me this isn't a playing kitten. It's fantastic. What about Croatia? At first I was unable to create an idea what Croatia looks like. But then it came out. It's the most impressive shape of a flying dragon ever. Look at that. That is one cool shape for a country, isn't it? Here comes the first island, Cyprus. Islands give good images, as their boundaries are clearly visible against the sea surrounding them. But Cyprus is not very easy for me. In the end, I came up with the picture of a funny mouse leaping and farting away in its joy. This is the Czech Republic. And I think it looks like a guinea pig lurking behind a rock. The rock is represented by the borderlines of Austria and Slovakia. See that? Now here's one of my favorite ones. Denmark. On the left there is a fat version of Batman who has just got out of some nasty shit with a fish eating the slime from his belly and a weird elderly looking ghost-like creature pointing at him. That creature also seems to be yelling at the fat Batman. What a curious ensemble. Isn't that amazing? Estonia shows two faces. One might be the head of a leopard looking to the left hand side. The other is a wolf looking in the opposite direction. Since we already had a cat here, I decided for the wolf. There. Finland's boundaries represent a diving whale. It's hard to see anything remarkable in the shape of France. Perhaps there is an old-fashioned guy with a long nose and huge lashes looking to the left. But there's also the shape of an owl. Here it is. What do you think about it? And here comes Georgia. Yes, there is a Georgia in Europe. And it looks quite like a crawling platypus or duckbill. My home country, Germany. It was just after the reunification when the first maps of a united Germany were published that the idea came to my mind that the shape of Germany looks like a garden gnome being a flasher with pants down and a wide open coat. See that fellow? He's surely having fun with it all. As a kindness, I blurred his pork sword. The island of Great Britain always reminded me of a creature with a wide open mouth. Why not a dragon? Here is, appropriately enough, a red dragon. 
not the coolest fossil creation, but that's because of the odd shape of the island. Greece is not very easy. There can be many things. I see an old bearded man with a pointed cap. What all the islands of the Aegean are, I leave it completely up to you, because I don't have the foggiest idea what they could be. Hungary is a potato. I'm sorry for not having a better idea. I tried hard, but I failed to find a better picture. Iceland has a funny shape. It reminds me of a spiky cactus with blossoms on it. And here's Ireland. I love it. I spend a lot of time there every year. The fact that I'm showing the whole island, cutting off Northern Ireland from Great Britain, is not for political reasons. As I said before, islands give much more significant images when seen as a whole. And the Irish island looks remarkably like a teddy bear. What can I say about Italy? The idea of the boot is so widely accepted and its shape is so distinct that there is no choice. Italy is a boot. What else could it be? Kazakhstan is next. It's only the westernmost part of Kazakhstan which is considered Europe and this is what we see here. As a figure, it might just look like this dude. An odd, big-headed fellow giving thumbs up to Europe from its very east. I took Kosovo as an own country. Why? You will see that later on when it comes to Serbia. In the meantime, accept that Kosovo looks like a ghost. Chance has it that the shape of Latvia gives a remarkable image. Latvia is without doubt a baby eagle or baby vulture. I'm sure you happen to agree with that. Liechtenstein is a very small country between Austria and Switzerland. Its shape is that what in my world soon turns into the shape of a ghost. I like ghosts. I always drew them in that way when I was a teenager. If I fail to have an idea, the shape of a country is likely to become a ghost. Let's turn to this country. It's Lithuania. Again, it took me a while to figure out what it looks like. Then it crystallized out. It's a singing rockabilly. Luxembourg is a tiny country between Belgium and Germany. The shape of its boundaries looks like a fat man with mighty eyebrows. Again, this is just my imagination. You might see things all different. And this goes for Macedonia also. What does this country look like? Maybe a brain? Or like a cauliflower? I love cauliflower. And that's why I made the big decision. Macedonia looks like a huge appetizing cauliflower. Let's have a look at Malta, a group of islands in the Mediterranean Sea. There we have a rat on the left, snatching for a piece of cheese, and a bunch of fish to ensure the rat's survival. What I like about Moldova is the fact that it has got the perfect shape for a ghost. See that? How I love to draw these ghosts. Monaco. I don't know. Maybe a surreal elephant? The shape of Montenegro is really odd. What can it be? The first idea is usually the best one, and so Montenegro became a dinosaur. Why not? This is the Netherlands, our beloved neighbors. Its shape always reminded me of an alien. The head of an insect-like extraterrestrial with big eyes and creepy mandibles. Norway. There's only one thing I can think of when I consider its shape. What a huge baby it would become if there was no one big enough for it. For your children out there, this is a white tadpole. Perhaps becoming a white frog one day. Can you imagine a picture for the shape of Poland? It made me struggle at first. It was one of the irregular blobs on the map. But suddenly, the head of a baboon popped up. Some would say, hey, it's a lion, but no, this is a baboon. Portugal's boundaries form a kind of Spain-eating caterpillar. Look at this. Romania has a very funny shape. It made me laugh when I realized that it looks like Dory from the movie Finding Nemo. Russia. I can't help it, but somehow it looks like the backside of a massive sharding pig. San Marino shows some resemblance with a ground mole crawling out of its molehill. And here's Serbia. When you remove Kosovo from Serbia, it looks remarkably like a funny dinosaur. This time it's a meat eater, so Montenegro should watch out. This is Slovakia. Now you will see what happens when ideas are rare and you're getting hungry. I like bratwurst with fries and tomatoes. 
Slovenia has such a remarkable shape that everybody should clearly see a chicken or cockerel. Those who need help, here you are. Spain again could represent anything. I decided to turn it into a hand giving thumbs up. The part in the northern east which can't be part of the hand is the end of the sleeve. Sorry folks, I am German and when I see a map of Sweden I see a huge sausage. Leberwurst, yummy! The borderlines of Switzerland always looked like an amoeba to me. Here's Turkey. I would love to show you a different creation of my fantasies, but since I saw Star Trek The Voyage Home, I found that Turkey looks like the space probe from that movie. The shape of Ukraine immediately produced the image of a mule in my head. A mule with a very big head. Vatican is the last one. Here we've got the head of a weasel with a big nose. So maybe you agree on some of the images. Again, I would love to see your creations. There's one thing left for me, and that is putting all the images together to create an all new map of Europe. A set of doodles forming the continent where many of us live on. What a funny patchwork. And now it's time to say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it.